Hey everybody, Lear Learn, Learn Defense Industries. Thanks for watching. All right, another ammunition test coming at you. And, whoop, let me back that up. What is this? I thought we already tested Corbon DPX. Well, turns out that Corbon got new ownership. And with new ownership came a uh, different DPX round. Um, I don't know that this is so much different as it is their uh, ones prior to the one that we tested. This is, sorry, see how large that hollow point is on these two? It's quite massive compared to the old style, or I'm sorry, the last style that we tested. Um, guys, if, it, if I get confused on this, I'm sorry. Um, this is, according to Corbon, their Gen 2 DPX. Uh, the previous one you saw us tested was their Gen 3. And again, that was only uh, an experimental in the 9mm. So, uh, this is the Gen Gen 2, which we have not tested on this channel. And there is no Gen 2 test of it anywhere on the internet into Ballistic Gelatin. And that's what we're going to do today. So, stick tuned and we will get that into the gel block for you. Block 19. Block 26. Let's tighten this puppy back up just a little. Okay, let's try this again. Block. 26! Okay guys, sorry for the shaky camera at this part, but I gotta show you this. Okay, so we have here is the Glock 26 shot came in, it curved left a little bit. So man, I gotta watch. Sorry guys. Alright, came in here, right? There is a, oop, a neck in the table. You see that? Tiny little thing right up there. It then, <laughs> due to the right hand twist, skipped and turned right and came to another nick in the table. I saw that nick the first time in the table. Said there's no way that can be from the bullet. That has to be from a previous test. Oh no, no. I then followed the trajectory of that and sitting in the snow right here. Okay, what we're looking at here is the two wound tracks from the new Corbon Ownership's DPX round. Uh, top track was from the Glock 26. Bottom track was from the uh, Glock 19. As you can see, they both came in here and left really, really good wound tracks. Uh, did a lot of damage in there. You're looking at oh about half an inch of damage right there, solid half inch. So uh, as we track on down, these two blocks don't line up, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, we'll remove that block out of the way, and we'll point to right there, right there. That is 13 and 1 8 inch penetration, 13 and 1 8 um, At 13 and a quarter, the Glock 26 bullet exited and uh, went flying out into the yard and we were, we were able to recover it and we'll go over that one here in just a minute. All right. Okay, so now that we've pulled them out of the block and recovered them from the yard, here's uh, what we're looking at, guys. This is the Glock 19 on your right, this is the uh, Glock uh, 26 on your left. These are the casings fired from them. As you can see, both casings looks, look good. Um, there's just a small, small, slight scratch on the primers when you run your finger across. Uh, when you're dealing with plus P pressures, that's, that's quite common. Um, so it's nothing like cratering or you're not, you know, you know, it's not going to blow your primer out, but, uh, 
you know, if these things seep back at all on you, you might that might be something you want to look out for. Uh, anyways, both of these projectiles were recovered at a hundred and fifteen point nine grains, one fifteen point nine. So they're really consistent. The uh, spreading diameter of the uh, Glock twenty six shot is 0.67 average diameter, 0.67 average diameter. The uh, high was 0.68 and the low was 0.65. Um, over here on the Glock 19, it was a slightly smaller as it had a higher velocity and folded the pedals back. Its velocity, or I'm sorry, its uh, expanded diameter Average is a 0.65 with the low being a 0.64 and the high being a 0.67. So, uh, you know, this bullet still performs really, really well. I mean, take a look at it compared to the uh, last version that uh, the Pies put out. And these were, these ones were experimentals uh, from Pies and they, they never got to full production they were only available in nine millimeter but now they are gone sadly that design is gone and we are uh, with this for the DPX which is still an awesome performer it did really really well and I'm telling you guys there is some good stuff going on in there at Corbon the new owners have um, got a good vision of what needs to happen in there and I have a feeling that they're really, really going to strive to make uh, Corbon uh, a standard household name a lot more common to folks. Uh, stick tuned to the DPX line. Stick tuned to it because they have some new stuff coming out that I think is going to perform really, really well. And we're going to test it when we can get our hands on it. So, guys, this is Lear Learn with Learn Defense Industries. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today.